Thelma Schoonmacher for The Departed. Thelma Schoonmacher met Martin Scorsese at NYU Film School and credits him with changing her life when he made her an editor. Congratulations to thank the award. Thank you, thank you so much. You've got quite a few of those. Uh, how does it, does this one feel special for you? This one is very special because they usually give the Golden Lion to a director. So when Mr. Barbera called me and um, told me that they were wanted to give it to me, I was quite shocked and um, reluctant to accept it because I wanted Scorsese to accept it with me. We work so closely on his editing. And, um, but he said, well, Mr. Scorsese already has a golden line, <laughs> so um, I'm very proud to be the first artistic collaborator that the festival is honoring, and I'm very happy for my fellow editors that editing is now being recognized for the important part it plays in, in filmmaking. Uh, you can ruin a movie with editing, you can make it better, you can ruin an actor's performance with editing. So it's very, very important that we take this raw lump of material that 200 people have created and then we shape it like a sculptor into something that works as a film. So it's the best job in the world as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> So as an editor, what would be your best sides and your worst sides? I think an editor has to have tremendous patience and discipline. A musical sense is very important. And I was lucky my parents brought me up playing the piano and then I, I learned several instruments. And I'm very glad I had that experience because a musical sense is very important. Uh, rhythm, pace, and drama are something that a, a, an editor has to know how to pull out of a movie. And you have to have a good sense of acting, which is why Scorsese has been such a great teacher for me, because he's a brilliant director of actors. He has a very high standard for what he will accept from an actor's performance. And I have learned that from him. Very important. Hi, Mom, what do you think? You look like a gangster. So how does your collaboration look like? How do you work here? Well, you know, he trained me in editing. I knew nothing about it when I met him. So he trained me as an editor. So my uh, taste and feelings are really his. So we're like one mind, and we collaborate beautifully together for what is best for the film. A lot of editors and directors fight with each other over the movie, and that's very bad. That doesn't happen with us, but we, we're constantly talking to each other all day long, making a thousand decisions together. Uh, you know, we discuss everything, let's try this, let's try that, so it's a, it's a wonderful collaboration. So you, ne you never fight, you never disagree? No. Or well, it, it, occasionally we've had differences of opinions about something important in a movie and then we screen it my way and then we screen it his way for people and we ask them what they think and um, usually it's his way that wins <laughs> nobody knows if the stock is going to go up down sideways or in circles you know what a fugazi is oh, fugazi it's a uh, fake hey, fugazi fugazi it's a wazi it's a woozy it's a fairy dust so which one are you the most most proud of well, I think, um, I always say Raging Bull because it was my first feature film in a Hollywood studio uh, setting. And uh, it, I, it was so brilliantly directed, brilliantly shot, brilliantly acted. The music is so incredible. The truthfulness of it, the black and white, it was just pure gold and I think of that as the film on which I learned the most and which was in many ways the most rewarding because it was such a powerful, it was burned into the screen. You know, when Marty and I first saw the first cut of that movie, we said, who made this movie? It's already so strong. It's just jumping out at us practically. And so that was an exhilarating experience. But I love them all. I love them all for different reasons, you know. What would be your advice for aspiring filmmakers if you would give five tips for? Well, I would say search for the truth always. Avoid cliché and sentimentality at all costs. There are too many films that are filled with clichés and sentimentality. And um, try and lay down humanity in the film and 
true emotion, but not sentimentality. <laughs> and listen to your editor. <laughs> Have a good editor, yes. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. It's Thank great you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank you, guys.